Number one, we have f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared if a is equal to 2. So we are going to use table of values to estimate the limit of the function from the left and also from the right. So here now, by using the table of values, you can see that the limit of f of x from the left and also from the right is equal to 4. Next is we were going to determine the f of c. So f of 2 is equal to x cubed minus x squared. And we were going to substitute the 2 from all the x's. And it will be 2 cubed minus 2 squared. And 2 cubed is equal to 8 and 2 squared is equal to 4. So 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Thus limit of f of x as x approaches to 2 is equal to f of 2. Number 2. The function of f of x is equal to x plus 2 is x less than to 0 and 3 if x is equal to 0 and x squared minus 4 if x is greater than to 0 if a is equal to 0. We have two tables, the table from the left and the table from the right. The limit of f of x as x approaches to 0 from the left is x plus 2 is equal to 2. We have 1.99. The limit of f of x as x approaches to 0 on the right is x squared minus 4 is equal to negative 4 and we have negative 3.99. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches to 0 is not equal to the limit of f of 0. And last for number 3, we have f of x is equal to 1 over square root of x minus 2 if a is equal to 4. Again, we will go into use table of values to estimate the limit of functions from left and right. So by using table of values, we can see now that the limit of function is equal to negative 3,999.74 from the left. And from the right, it is equal to positive 4,025. So they are not equal. After estimating the limit of the function from left and right, we are now going to determine the f of c f of 4 is equal to 1 over square root of x minus 2. Substitute the 4 to x. So, 1 over square root of 4 minus 2 is equal to negative infinity. So, therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches to 4 is not equal to f of 4.